So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what my desktop image looks like. As you can see, I created a 1920 by 1080 image of my desktop and I have my turnarounds as part of that image. And then what I did, I made sure that it would fit inside of my canvas. The button we want to use is called the see-through window transparency. So I'm going to increase the transparency and you can see where my image plane fits within the size of my canvas. If I move my cursor on top of ZBrush's UI, the UI will reappear. So what I want to do, I want to set up my character in a front view and a side view to match the desktop. I need to go to the movie menu and then I have to click on the timeline and show timeline. My timeline appears on the very top of the canvas. Now it's time to bring a bust. So I'm going to go to my light box, shortcut is comma. I'm going to double click on bust start and there's my bust start. I'm going to move it. I'm going to zoom and I'm going to try to match the eyes. So I'm going to try to match the two pupils as close as I can. That looks decent right there. And um, I can move around the see-through to see how my object looks like. All right, to zoom out a little bit more. Take your time when you do this because this is crucial. This is very important. Don't worry about the ears. Don't worry about the skull. We'll adjust that later on. All right, so um, I'm going to show my timeline again readjust my character because we're going to be working with the timeline on. The very first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to click a key on my timeline. Okay, once you create a key on your timeline, no matter what happens, no matter how you move your character, if you're zoomed in and it's on the right hand side, as soon as I move my slider, my character goes back to the pose that we created based on this key. So now what I need to do, I need to rotate my character. I'm going to click with the mouse, left mouse button. I'm going to rotate it. And as soon as I start getting closer to the side view, I'm going to hold the shift key so that my character snaps. Now I'm going to pan my character to the right by holding the alt key. But to constrain the up and down movement, I will immediately hold the shift key down. So I'm going to hold the alt key click and drag and immediately hold the shift key. So now I cannot move up and down no matter what I try. I am going to move my character to the right hand side. Remember all we need to do is try to match the eyes, nothing else. The rest will be sculpted. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this position. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another key right here. So now if I move my slider by going to the bottom bar, not the top bar, but the bottom bar, left, and right. I have created two poses that I can always go back to time after time after time and then use use my brushes to move my geometry and then begin to sculpt. So this is how you use the timeline to pose your character based on an image on your desktop and using the see-through slider.